Hey folks, happy Halloween here from Guardline. This is Joanna. Um, today we have an extra special Halloween themed Guardline video. We are going to be doing something a little similar to what you may have noticed in a video that our COO Dave made last year with some jack-o'-lanterns, some strobe lights, and some 12 volt relays. Yes, you guessed it, we are going to show you how to connect your guard line to a strobe light or Christmas lights so that they will go off when someone walks past your pumpkins. Pretty cool way to hide your sensors and conceal them when folks are walking by and also to be alerted when people are coming to your door. So if you want to see how to connect your guard line to your jack-o'-lanterns, keep watching. And if you want to see some, maybe some spooky Halloween themed lights and see how you can connect those as well, you're in the right place. So without further ado, let's get started. To properly send notifications from your guard line receiver to your jack-o'-lantern, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need, obviously, your jack-o'-lantern, your guard line sensor and receiver, an AC-DC control relay system, a small screwdriver, some, and some Christmas lights. You're also going to want to make sure everything's properly powered. Go ahead and turn on our AC-DC control relay on. All right, once we've done that, we're gonna to wanna to connect our receiver to our AC DC control relay using a set of cable speaker wires. Originally, these were all um, set up perfectly, so this wasn't like this. I had to strip these out and then wire strip these, it wires out so I can connect everything. And you were gonna to wanna to do that in both ends. All right, so over here on the AC DC controller, we're gonna to wanna to connect our cable speaker wires here to the positive and, or positive and negative set of contacts. And to do that, first we're gonna to wanna to pop this out. Um, this unit can pop it out. Other units may or may not do it, but in this particular case, we'll just pop this out like that. Perfect. And we're gonna to wanna to connect our red wire or positive wire to this set of contact here and our negative wire or white, or depending on what wires you buy, your black wire to the negative contact here. But first, before we do that, we do need to loosen these up. So we're gonna just put our flat edge device into um, this slot here and just twist left. All right, and once we do that, we can go ahead and just con um, fill in our wires, feed in our wires in there, and then tighten it so it's screw right until you can't, oops, sorry, screw right. Perfect. We have our one wire in, and we do the same thing to the other one. Okay, same thing. We want to just screw it back on. All right, once we do that, make sure they're actually in there. Just give them a slight tug, make sure they don't pull out. Once they're seated in there, just pop your port back into your ACDC controller, and it should be as easy as that. Make sure these wires do not cross, otherwise you, your receiver may not work properly. Once we do that, we can look at our receiver here and look at our contacts here on the back and we're gonna to wanna to connect again, the red wire or positive wire to the positive contact and then white wire or black wire, depending on what wires you buy, to the negative contact. To do that, we're gonna to wanna to press down on this orange tab here and feed in the wire. So we'll do that now. So feed in the wire, make sure you press down the orange tab, then release. Same thing with the white wire. Push down on the tab, feed your wire into the negative contact. Then give it a slight tug, make sure it doesn't pull out. Perfect. Then on your switches here, you wanna make sure switch number five is flipped up. So it activates for zone one. Six, seven, and eight will also activate for two, three, and four, depending on which sensors you want to activate with the relay. All right, once that's done, we're gonna to wanna to connect our Christmas lights. And we have our Christmas lights here. And we're gonna put it to normally off because we don't want these on all the time. We just want them to come on whenever someone enters our property. So let's make sure everything works. No wires are crossing, no wires crossing. Perfect, activate our sensor, ta-da. All right, so when your receiver has been properly um, paired with your pumpkin, this is kind of what's gonna happen. And there you go. You now have some lights in your pumpkin and some notifications for when trick-or-treaters are coming to your door. Have a great Halloween, everyone.